almost 30 to 40 formulas as far as I know they are based on 1 is to 60 rule least understood in aviation. Hello ladies and gentlemen, your captain speaking from flight deck. My name is Captain Surinder Singh. Welcome aboard the plane talking. Sit back, relax and enjoy your journey. So one of the very important topic which we use in aviation is 1 is to 60 rule. Almost 30 to 40 formulas as far as I know they are based on 1 is to 60 rule least understood in aviation. Again when I started and when I saw people learning they used to write so many formula in the right like school habit write formula on the first page. So I actually simplified all these formulas as if you know this 1 is to 60 rule. So to solve right angle triangle problem either we use trigonometry okay where you have perpendicular hypotenuse and base or we use Pythagoras theorem where a square plus b square is equal to c square ninth tenth class that's what we study ninth class Pythagoras. Now whether we use trigonometry or we use Pythagoras there is always a difference between hypotenuse and base. So base is always bigger correct? Oh. Hypotenuse is bigger. Okay. Hypotenuse is always bigger than base. You will find every 15-20 days this topic keeps coming back. Okay. But what if I reduce this theta angle? If I reduce this. Hypotenuse is always bigger. If I keep reducing theta, the difference between hypotenuse and base will reduce. Correct? The length of hypotenuse and the length of base, this difference will reduce. For smaller angle, normally it is taken as less than 20 degree. Lesser the angle, the difference would be less. For up to 20 degree, we take it that hypotenuse and base, they are same. And the difference between them is negligible, you can ignore that. And then we can use radian theory to resolve this triangle. In a radian theory or in the circular theory, we have, we can take both hypotenuse and base as equal. There is no difference for angle 20 degree or less. Both are same and we can take as radius of a circle like this. But only for angle less than 20 degree because if this angle increases the length of hypotenuse will keep increasing then you cannot use this 1 is to 60 rule or radian theory. Actually 1 is to 60 rule is originated from radian theory. We will see what is 1 is to 60 rule. This is not 1 is to 60 rule. This I am telling you how to resolve right angle triangle problem when theta is less than 20 degree. So we can take both as equal and now we can apply radian theory in this and we can use the relationship between this angle which is called theta, arc is given by S and radius is given by R. So this relationship between arc, radius and theta is given by this angle is ratio of arc upon radius. But this answer which you get is in radians. Pick up your calculator please. You switch it on, you find in the small scale it comes written as D. Can you see this D? Any, any angle can be given by 3 units. Okay. Uh, press mode button, press again. What it comes? Degree, radians and gradients. Okay, some calculator it won't go. I will tell you how to do there. 
different software but in the basic calculator you press twice it comes degree radian and gradient so what answer you get this ratio it is linear unit because radius is linear arc is also linear unit arc is given by 2 pi r so you make a circle of thread and you can open it against the scale you can read it's a linear unit meter centimeter so whether it is radius or this arc both are linear unit and this is theta which is angle so it is ratio of arc upon radius the answer which you get is in radians degree and radian they are different unit radian is basically ratio linear unit between arc and radius degree is the angle which you measure with the protractor it is in the gradient also in aviation we don't use radians in civil aviation when i talk about in where but we do use in aviation theta and gradient we will see gradient also so you can use theta so how to convert this radian into degrees this is in radian how to convert linear unit into angular so this this is circumference is linear circumference is given by this line green line if i do this circumference will be how much circumference will be 2 pi r what is pi anybody can tell me pi 22 by 7 what is 22 by 7 it is the ratio of circumference to diameter in any circle the ratio of circumference if the circumference is 22 units the diameter is 7 unit this green line 360 how much angle it is will subtend at the center of earth it will subtend 360 degree so i can convert this linear unit to angular unit so this r will be 360 by 2 pi pi is what 22 by 7 so how much it comes anyone 57.2 degree so basically one radian is equal to 57.27 degree that is a conversion okay but this whole thing is simplified for pilots by theta is equal to s by r into 60 most of formulas which you will see they are based on this theta is equal to s by r into 60 now for example if i want to know this is 100 and this is 12 degree correct and if i want to find what is the value of perpendicular you need value of tan of 12 you need scientific calculator otherwise you can't solve because tan of 12 will be what perpendicular by 100 so what will be perpendicular tan of 12 into 100 how much it comes calculator tell me ha ji 21 point something roughly so roughly 21 unit but you need calculator to find value of tan of 12 okay where is here life is much simpler much simpler in the sense theta is equal to s by r into 60 so what do you need to find s will be theta is 12 r is 100 divided by 60 so it will be 20 units obviously it is not that accurate but still for pilot heading plus minus 2 even that flying inaccuracy is permissible even compass is permitted plus minus 2 you don't need tan theta sin theta cos theta but only important thing to remember this that theta should be less than 20 degree because if it is more than 20 degree then obviously you can't take hypotenuse and base equal only for the smaller angle this holds good okay now what is 1 is to 60 rule so far we have not discussed we just discussed about radian theory now this 1 is to 60 rule is originated from radian theory now this 1 is to 60 rule when we say it says for every 16 nautical mile flying if aircraft is off track by 1 nautical mile the track error is 
one degree. This is S and this is R. So theta is equal to S by R into sixty. So S is how much? One. R is what? Sixty into sixty. So track error is one degree. So this one is to sixty rule or is originated from Peridian theory. Or otherwise, what as a pilot when you talk about what is one is to sixty rule is for every sixty nautical mile, if an aircraft is off track by one nautical mile, track error is one degree. It was an amazing thing because obviously you should know table of six at least. Let's say I have flown for I take some values four hundred nautical mile and I am off track by twenty nautical mile. How much is the track error? I don't need to have calculator with me. So six seven zero four twenty or that. So twenty divided by seven is three degree roughly. That is my track error. This angle is three degree. So what I did, I divided four hundred into divided by sixty because for sixty nautical mile. So how much it will come seven. So for sixty nautical mile, it is one nautical mile. For this, I divided twenty by seven. Roughly three degree. Take any distance. Okay, it could be anything. I take randomly. कुछ भी two seventy ले लेते हैं कुछ. Okay, and I'm off track by. Let me make it more complicated. I make it thirty seven. Okay, all I need to do is two seventy divided by six. So I should know table of six. कितना हो जाएगा? Roughly four four four. Let's say I take it four because four and five. So thirty seven divided by four. Suffering so about nine degree or so. So this is a thumb rule. You don't need any calculator. In exam, it is a wonderful thing that you have a calculator and you can get the answer. And by the way, it holds good not only for the distance. If this is sixty minutes, this is one minute. If it is sixty feet, this is it's a ratio. One is to sixty. There is no uh, unit for this. If this is kilometer, this is kilometers. I'll take just one example. Let's say I want to go from A to B. After some distance, I realize that let's take a distance of 360 nautical mile. I have traveled 360 nautical mile, and suddenly I wake up. I find myself left of the track. This is the track which you need to fly, but you have reached here. For easy calculation, I am taking. Uh, 12 nautical mile. So, how much will be your track error? Track error will be. थोड़ा सा और इसको वो कर देते हैं. 24 कर देते हैं. 4 degree. So, basically, this is theta. So, theta is equal to s by r into 60. So, s is 24. R is 360 into 60. Is how much? Four degree. So my track error is four degree. Now, let's say I have a distance to travel. Let's say my distance to go is one eighty nautical mile. So how much correction I should make to reach here? You are going from A to B. This is A. After flying for three sixty nautical mile, you realize you are left of the track. And distance to go. Distance to go to destination is 180 nautical mile. How much correction you should make? You are flying due to some reasons. You ended up here. You are not on your track for whatever reason. Whether it was winds or your compass or you measured it wrong. Track error. Track error could be due to any reason. You found yourself here. So how much is the difference? This difference is. Four degree. So what will happen if you don't make any correction? You'll continue to go like this. That's what will happen. Let's say you make only four degree correction in head your heading. You make four degree correction. You will stop going. So rather than going this way, you'll start. If you make only four degree correction, let's say I make heading correction of four degree. So you'll fly like this. Because track required was zero nine zero east, you are flying zero eight six. 
So you will stop flying 086, you will start flying 090. But do you want to go there? So you have to make further correction and that how much is that further correction? This much. So the total correction which you will give, you will give correction for track error and in navigation terms, the correct technical term which is used for this further correction is called closing angle and this closing angle is equal to what? Alternate angle, this angle and this angle. So your total correction becomes what? It becomes track error plus closing angle. Track error is 4 degree. Closing angle is this. So closing angle will be what? Theta is equal to S by R into 60. So S is how much? 24. R is how much? 180 into 60. So how much it becomes? 8 degrees. So how much your total correction? Total correction is 4 plus 8 is equal to 12 degree. So if you make 12 degree correction from here, you will stop going there and you will reach your destination. Understood? In aviation book, you will find two formulas on this. One is for track error. So the track error formula given in aviation book is track error is given by distance of track divided by distance traveled into 60. That is the formula you find in aviation books. You fly anywhere in this world. What is it? It is theta is equal to S by R into 60. I can't remember formulas, but theta is equal to S by R. You wake me up during night, I will be able to solve the thing. Similarly, there is a formula in aviation book for closing angle. And that formula is, so closing angle is given by distance off track divided by distance to go into 60. What is it? Theta distance of track S. What is R? Distance to go into 60. Again formulas. You don't remember formula as long as you know the concept because no book explains from where the 60 comes. You already seen you have calculated from where that 60 comes. It is 57 point something which is rounded off to 60. Clear on this? So this is your 1 is to 60 rule. Practical use we will see a plenty. Number of practical uses we will see. Okay, please copy this. We will go for break. What is the time now? 40. We have 5 minutes more. Chalo, okay, still we will go for break. And... Uh, See you after break. This is your captain speaking.